So how did, how, tell me a little bit about, um, first of all, you're from Pacific Crest, right? We're right. from Pacific Crest. Yeah. I'm the chef Dave Lambert. This is my sous chef, Musti. All right. I'm Paul with the Tahoe Paul, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Pleasure. Nice to meet you both. Um, how was the racing? Outstanding. <laughs> it was more fun than I ever thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, it's just great that we all get together and, you know, we all joke around and have a good time doing some of the recreational outside the kitchen. So, you know, we, we enjoy doing we that. We have pack heat sources and <laughs> cooking utensils oh. and vessels. You know, pots and pans. Hey, man, be <laughs> Always prepared, chef. Always prepared. Nice. Here, guide me in, sweetheart. Dude, you're there. Come on, you can do it yourself. Ooh, you're sticking out the bottom end. Uh-oh. <laughs> Do you get to bring like spices, anything like that as yeah. well? Uh, yeah, spices and oils we got we get to bring and other than that they provide the food products. So we don't know what we're cooking yeah. yet. A couple yeah. a couple secret weapons in in our cache, but you know, beyond that we try to keep it pretty slim pickings. Uh, well, last <laughs> Those year, are good la yeah, last year they threw a cactus at us and uh, they threw a couple little little twists and turns. So cactus, it's always huh? it's always exciting to to take a few minutes to explore, see what they're gonna give you. You know what I was uh, telling the guys on the on the hill? I said, what are you gonna do with cuttlefish. <laughs> there are cuttlefish. Is that what we get? So, yeah. <laughs> It'll be interesting. Yeah. It'll be interesting to find out. And yeah. Yeah, I mean we I hope it's edible. There you go. <laughs> The ultimate challenge. So was Shaper's Camp and the Wild Goose. Oh, uh, right on? Yeah. So, how did you do in the ski snowboarding portion? We did well. We got second. Uh, we would have got first, but his dress blew up in his face. Cost us about 900. 900 years of second. So, like, not on the race second. Second. But, uh, otherwise, we did pretty well. Four minutes. Hey, why don't you walk right in front of the camera? That's, uh, that's a good We're idea. We're stealing our thunder, man. Is there any strategy for uh, uh, food the food come, come to the cooking well, It's going to be uh, physically look good and make the food taste better. So if the food can taste better than we look, it's hard to believe, but then we're going to win. Gonna win it all. No, we're going to win it all. Get good win this year. Thank you. You're You're good. Good. We're already winners. Like your we're style. Winners. Like your style. We're already Show winners. me your legs. Do you ever get bonus points for having four women? No. <laughs> Otherwise, we're probably not going really to be really screwed. You know what's fair. What's happening at Jake? Blue Coyote Barn Grill, Blue, Coy Blue Coyote Sports Grill. First, we're starting out with our early spring salad with a honey mustard dipping sauce. Working our way down to Maryland style shrimp, peel and eat. Cajun pork chop with, what are those called again, Corey? Deep fried falafel. What are those things called? Plantains? They're not plantains, no. Kumra. Kumra. And a little corn on a cob. <laughs> What was most important to me was who was going to win the race. Coyote Moon. Coming up, you guys. So, then we have the winner of the cook-off. And this is actually a first for us because we've always had 
had a definite winner. This one team won. And this year we actually had two teams that tied for first place. So, uh, Schaefer's Camp and Jake's. This is who gets to carry the trophy. And one of these places, so deserving of the trophy, is probably not going to be around next year to have the trophy because we have another tie. So, Timber Creek overall and Jake's overall. Much better than that. And we're obviously the best dressed as and well. We're obviously the best Definitely dressed. the best dressed. Maybe not yeah. best dressed, but the sexiest. Maybe not best dressed, but the sexiest. Maybe not best dressed, but the sexiest. But we're happy. We're walking away. Uh, what did we happy. win? What did we win? We want the glory of being us. Do you have to go to the wine and food expo? Do you get that way to go to the wine and food expo? Yeah, we can go to the wine and food expo. Because so. that's what we need is more wine. Well, I, I, I think we can uh, totally take in that food and food expo over here. And, uh, yeah. We'll be there, dressed same garb. I think we'll be competing. So, ready to bring these outfits into the kitchen? Because it obviously worked for you. As long as we get some hairnets. 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 So I think, uh, uh, I think that's uh, that's where we got docked a couple points today. I think we didn't have. The taste was a little bit. Uh, we didn't get a lot of sexual harassment, <laughs> leeways in the food. <laughs> but we thought that was garbage. Yeah. We thought, I, th it was I thought it looked good. I thought it looked good. It was cold as ice. <laughs> that's what we called it. That's what we called it. So what did you guys think? We want to support the chef race every year. Yeah. You everybody, 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 everybody make it out. I think everybody did a good job. Cool. You want to see somebody hotter than us? It's a nice little <laughs> Tuesday, actually. You know, uh, you get to taste the best of the best from the Tao region, and uh, it wasn't a bad one out there, really. So do you have a personal favorite restaurant? I like Jake's the best. I thought they had the nicest presentation, the best creativity, with especially their hors d'oeuvres. Uh, it's just all around are pretty good. Thank you.